it's time for episode two of Mind Fuck the TV Show. My reign has just begun. Hey guys, I'm Alexander here. And today we are watching Westeros. Westeros, oh my god, I'm so into like Game of Thrones at the moment that I can't even deal. Today we are watching season one, episode two of Westworld. I have to remind myself what I'm watching now that it's not Game of Thrones because I'm just so used for the last six months while I've been saying that I'm watching Game of Thrones episode blah blah blah. So it's really hard for me to like not say that. Last episode of Westworld, I nearly said Westeros as well, um, was a total mindfuck. There's so much happening, you have no idea how hard it was to edit that down to 10 minutes, which is bizarre because it was only, I knew it was just over an hour, that episode. But God, it took longer than Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones usually takes me about half an hour, 40 minutes to sort of cut up and, and edit. That took me about two hours. So we found out that Dolores, Dolores, what's his name? Dolores, isn't it? Dolores, I'm sure it is. She was the first ever being or character to be placed into the theme park. She's the oldest one there and she's been like kind of upgraded so much that she's nothing of the person she was when she began. So we also saw at the end, also they had updated a couple of the, I don't know what to call them, the animatronic people in the <laughs> in the theme park and that had caused some shit and we also saw Dolores' father or who was playing Dolores' father in the first episode obviously we saw at the end that he changed and was put back into like whatever it's called he was put back basically in the um, in the labs. Dolores at the end though is it was interesting which was the part that was like ooh is that the things <laughs> The synths, I'm going to call them synths because I like the word synths, it reminds me of Fallout 4. The synths aren't able to harm living creatures, hence they can't harm the people in the world and they can't harm anything else that's in the world. And at the end of that episode, Dolores is looking out into the distance like that and goes... with the fly on the neck and I was like, oh! So I'd be really interested to see if that develops later on in the series, if she's sort of changing what is it about in her mind that the cogs are turning now, maybe. I don't know. I don't really understand what is happening. So without further ado, let's jump into this. This is Westworld Season 1, Episode 2. So this must be, like, how they arrive at the park. And they were all told to wear dark colours. That's fine. Stay safe. Give me a break. What? It's not like my sister didn't ride her share of cowboys when she was here. You must be William. Welcome to Westworld. <gasps> oh! Given it's your first visit, I have a few personal questions. I like her. You want to ask. So ask. Are you real? Are you real? Well, if you can't tell. Does it matter? Mm. Do you really understand? This is like a theme park for horny psychopaths who want to kill people. All our hosts are here for you. A lot of sex and a lot of sex. Myself included. Remember. Like, who is speaking to her? Is she remembering what happened the last time when they had that massive fight last episode? He's violent, delights. Her violent ends. <sighs> right, so she shouldn't really be saying that. <laughs> no, because now it's going to make her think. See, that's what it is. Is it the line? These violent, Hello, the lights have violent ends and the plants the seed. The first thing I heard was that goddamn voice. Do you know what it said? It said. Oh. It's 
sorry, will you please excuse me? All right, Maeve, what did it say? It said, this is the new world, and in this world, you can be whoever the fuck you want. It's all a come on. Him, the, the, the girl next door, the town drunk. They all got some big adventure that they want to sell you on. Hey, they're not going anywhere. First up, you're gonna buy me a drink, okay? So it's like on a game where you go to a character and they like do a side mission. This is like um, Red Dead Redemption. Close your eyes. Count backwards from three. Wake yourself right up. Nice and warm. Safe in your bed. In my possession, a map. I see. And this guy has sex with everything, men, women, but very much. You're home. Ooh, is this a new little bit? A gentleman gets whatever he wants. Why? Who is he? You know what that means? Please. They're not even real. It's making me emotional. She'll wake up tomorrow. That means when you're suffering, that's when you're most real. Follow the blood arroyo to the place where the snake lays its eggs. You have it now. Whatever you want. I bet you Jess didn't like this when she watched it. Home now. Is that someone's so You're not going to come back here again, are you? Great. No. What's he done to him? Or is he not real? Was he not real? Solid ground. The first thing I heard was that voice. Ah, oh, shut up, She mad they, they planted into her that it was like the Red Indians. But it was him. Shit on and rinse. 
You, you understand, soap is mechanical. Fuck are you talking about? Bubbles. You're not making the little bubbles. You're not doing shit. Fuck. Fuck. What the fuck? Shit. Ah. 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 No. Oh. Fuck. Oh. What? Mate, where are you gonna go? Love your stomach so far, my friend. Someone buried something there. Where's it gone? She's gone. It's like a DLC. <laughs> because they discover something they imagine no one had ever noticed before. Something they fall in love with. They're here because they want a glimpse of who they could be. Could be. Billy! Let's go! The only thing your story tells me, Mr. Sizemore, is who you are. Well, isn't there anything you like about it? <laughs> what size are those boots? <laughs> he likes the boots. Say, Mr. Lowe? Aboard, sir. Yeah. It's quite rough with some feathers. I'm promising a new storyline. They shall have one. Something I've been working on for some time. Something quite original. What is this? Is that the top of a church? Or is it a grave? Wow, that was really good. Okay, guys, I really enjoyed that episode. I loved Maeve's little storyline that we got there. That she, how don't know, she kind of remembers things that happened in her past storylines. And we saw there that it's possible that they rewrote some of her storyline in her mind because she thought, you know, we at first we thought she was fighting the Red Indians, but actually it was that guy who I. We don't know his name. Um, so that was really interesting. And then also we saw her wake up in the middle of surgery and she was walking around and she was seeing all this thing. So I'll be interested to see if sort of that plays back in her mind in the next couple of episodes. If she goes back into the park, if we sort of see her remember that. I love the little countdown, three, two, one, that links back to when they, when the people wake them up and they come back into real life of the, the theme park that was really good dolores is i don't i don't know what that gun was i don't know if it was from her past father or it was something from another storyline that you know someone's been planting these ideas in their heads and i'm really interested to find out who it is because i don't think i recognize the voice that keeps saying you know like dolores do you remember things like that so yeah i don't know who that is and i want to know who that is and i'm sure we'll find out in a future episode about that also and we've got these new characters that just come in and at the end there, one of them, the little glimpse with with Dolores. That I really like that. And also, I really liked, I love Anthony Hopkins' character, very much so. And I love that thing there, he said, you know, at the end that, you know, they come to find out who they who they could have been, or who they could be. And I think that, that was a really, really good line. It's been a really good episode. I really enjoyed it. It's definitely wanted me to, wanted me, made me want to watch more so I'm really glad that I'm kind of I was, I was worried I wouldn't like this series 
but it is really good. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And yeah, until next time. See ya.